Welcome back to Chapter 6-3! No title, I was expecting a title again. Hello, again. Uh, I'm not really doing an intro, once again. I have no clue how Future Pal is going to be separating out these episodes, but hi! Floor 51, let's do this. So, I was just talking about uh, Overwatch and who I play, and I started saying that originally when I picked up the game, I was not playing D.Va because I thought she ha had too high of a skill cap <laughs> because I didn't entirely understand how shooting a mech, uh, shooting an ulting mech at people worked, but <laughs> I, I originally played Symmetra, and I put a lot of time in some into Symmetra, and uh, she's fun. I mean, you can do work with her, uh, you, but you really need a team around her. She's so team dependent, and even then, in high levels of play, she's bad. She's so bad. But, I, I don't know, she's still, I, I find her enjoyable still. Interloper, you have come, uh, come to the 52nd gate, and I, Hammer Uncle, guard it. When you are below, I look above, a leap above, and I plunge below. Like hammers from the sky, my blows will rain upon you. I am the Hammer of Justice. Smash. I mean, can I... Burn? No, okay, I can't burn. Hoi! Got him. Pretty easy. Smashed! Yes, you were definitely smashed. Yeah, Symmetra is fun. Uh, one of my favorite things, which I don't know why I'm talking about this in over or in a Super Paper Mario video, because I said I was going to be playing some Overwatch, so I should probably wait for it until then, but I, I'm in a pit of 100 trials. I, I will talk about what I want, because I kind of need to talk about things. Look upon Squatting Toad! 53rd gate is my ward, my strength has no rival. I lift my legs, I never my lower back, never. Prepare for squatting, okay? Whatever. Uh, let's run. Wait, I didn't mean to do that. Snap. Uh, let's... Well, I'm going to get hit, so let's not get hit. There we go. Well, there he is again. Uh... Do you see that? He's not really doing anything. Can we actually get hit? We can't even get hit by him. That's neat. Okay. Switching back. Oi. Got him. Herg. Man, that strategy actually works pretty well. If you ever if you're ever about to get hit, you can just switch to uh, Mario and then flip and you you're fine. It's a get out of jail free card. All right. Let's switch back to Bowser and actually I I want to give it a shot. Let's go back to carry because mainly I want to move faster because I feel like I'm a slug. And also, I mean, Barry's been useful, but I want Carrie to get some screen time in the final episodes of this LP. Because she was, you know, she was the main pixel we used. She was our main squeeze. Uh, welcome to you. You have come come upon Aegis Goomba, Guardian of the 54th Gate. Time costs, casts no shadow on me. Stomping boot and flaming flower hold no fear either. You will learn to fear my relentless perambulation. Goomba! Okay, let's try fire. No, he's uh, one of the fast ones. Let's bait out a hit. Got it. Perfect. With Carrie, you, you kind of... Like I I said when we swapped over to Barry, you need Barry if if they have active hitboxes that cover their head. But if you're smart with Carrie, you can overcome that. I mean, you just have to bait them out and then punish their ending lag. Because most of them do have ending lag, so you just punish that. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is is punish landings with it, which, I mean, I do in Smash 4 as well. My life is misfortune, my wishes always perish, and someone and so someone must pay. It is you! So many of these guys are just depressed. I mean, I've been paying attention with a lot of this text, and they're just really depressed about nothing. Defeat, why does this not surprise me? See, like, one of them said I hate you, and that he was going to go cry, and then this guy just is really... He's really... Is it passive? Yeah, it's passive-aggressive. See? Like, he's he's really sad, and he lashes out. Okay. Let's go on to the next guy. And, uh... I am Bob the Silent Blade. Guardian of the 56th Gate. Gentle Assassin. Blades are normally loud, noisy instruments, but I wield them quietly and discreetly. Now you go silently. I said silence. I don't know what it is with Russian accents, this recording, uh, whoa boy. Let's 
Barry would actually be really good here. Yeah, switching over to Barry because he reflects projectiles. There we go. That was super good. Wow. And got him again. Barry, man. Barry is really good. So I'll probably just switch over to Barry situationally. That, that works too. Okay, so let's go back to Carrie. But yeah, Russian accents. Actually reminds me. Uh, the the Ice World guy that we fought on floor 50. He actually he reminded me of uh, a conversation that I saw over on another channel. Uh, he's playing through he's playing through Yoshi's Island and he got, went on to an Ice World and he asked the question: Does anyone actually like Ice Worlds? And uh, I thought I would actually bring that question over to this channel as well. Punish out the attack. No, never mind. That works. There we go. Uh, and, I mean, yes, I'm bringing it over from someone else's channel, but it's a legitimate question to ask. Uh, what do you guys feel about Ice Worlds? And does a game not having an Ice World, for example, this game does not have an Ice World, does that actually affect how you view the game? For me, it does. I actually am one of the rare people who enjoys Ice Worlds a lot. As long as they're done well, they can be pretty, they, they can be pretty serene. Because, you know, whenever it snows, if there's a substantial amount of snow, the, the silence of of a blanket of snow, uh, that a blanket of snow creates, is just, it's so, it's so peaceful. And I always like that being translated into a video game. Okay, let's do this. There we go. That's a better strategy than punishing out a, a, uh, a, an attack. But it's just so serene, and it's... I, I love just walking outside when it when there's snow on the ground and just listening to nothing and it's it's a rare sound especially in today's society because you know there's there's city life everywhere no matter how far out in the country you get um well no that's wrong uh, I was actually out over in Eastern Washington recently and that was that was the quietest I had ever heard in my life but still it, the point stands there's this, there is civilization almost everywhere. And so perfect silence is pretty rare. But uh, yeah, snow I, I do like Ice Worlds also for the gameplay as well. Uh, the slippery, slippery platforms most people detest, but if they're done well, and by well I mean using the sliding to your advantage, not, not in a way that makes it super con inconvenient, like uh, like a one square wide platform that is icy, so it's made for you to fall off of. That I don't like. But if it's something that you're supposed to actually, you know, crouch slide or or use your momentum to your advantage, something like that, I find it... I, I'm cool with that. Uh, wait, wait. This guy's name is Blarg. That's amazing. But I'm, I'm definitely fine with that. Yeah, I could not escape that guy. Come on. No. Yeah, you run into that fire. Blarg, I am sunk. For the jumping guys, actually, probably the best strategy I found is to, uh, I mean, yes, you could use berry, and that works for everything, but if you jump away from them, flame, and then jump away again, they, their AI just does not recognize that there's an active hitbox of the flame lingering out, and so they'll try to close the gap, thinking that there's nothing stopping them, and then they'll hit the flame. It's actually pretty useful. Ahem. <clears throat> you disturb my rest. You have awakened the guard of the 61st gate. I am known as Sleeping Turnip. Soon you will sleep, and in that sleep you will dream of defeat by my hands. And you will wake from that dream to find it is real. Sleep. Sleeping is like stomping. Because I am rolling thwomp. Come on. Come on, You're, you have a big hitbox, and you will die. I must be dreaming. No, that is real. My accent is... Exactly as bad as you think it is Because I am from Russia Is it I wonder actually how good my accent is if there's someone who's Russian in the comments Please tell me because I always thought that your your American accents were American really I, I went there your English accents Sorry your or your Russian accents when speaking in English. There we go. That's what I was trying to say are really cool I always thought that I always thought that that was cool. I would, I would look forward to episodes of MacGyver when I was a kid, that where there were uh whoa boy. I looked forward to episodes in MacGyver where there were some sort of uh, relation with the communist or the uh, USSR because that I liked the accents a lot. I was actually 
when I was younger, I I was actually pretty unintentionally racist. Uh, or sorry, unintentionally anti-racist. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, in that, when I was younger, granted, give, give me uh, a little bit of license here because I was about five when I thought this. I thought that African American people should not be let into sports, okay? Now hear me out on this. Because they were too good and they beat every white person. That's what I thought when I was five. I thought that they were too good. And, I mean, that's a pretty innocent thought. Uh, that's You guys can allow me that. Of course, I'm also the kid, I'm not as bad as some people, I'm not as bad as Chugga Conroy with some of my childhood, uh, ideals, theories, I guess, but when I was little, I thought that, uh, or young, not little, uh, when I was young, I thought that people back in, you know, the, before the 1970s saw in black and white, because that's how the the TVs displayed back then, and they didn't discover that they could see in color until the 80s or 90s. That that was something that I stuck to pretty firmly when I was a child. Oh, you have found me. I am, no, I'm not going to do another Russian accent. Let's just kill this guy. <laughs> yeah, when I was a child, I had some weird thoughts, man. Really weird thoughts. But also, I was homeschooled, so, I mean, it... <laughs> I'm not saying that homeschooling is bad. Homeschooling is really good, but sometimes it can lead to some some misconceptions. Though I would definitely homeschool my kids when, if and when I have them, I would definitely have them homeschooled because uh, it just eh, I don't want to go into politics. Although I'm not, <laughs> I'm not. It's not beneath me. I've done it before, but come on. There we go. Got him. It's not beneath me. I have definitely done it before on this channel, in this series, but I don't know. I'm just not in the mood for it right now because I I don't want to start warming up because I am going to vote today. Uh, my, Well, it's technically my second election because I vo voted for primaries this, this uh, year, but it's my first year of voting, so that's kind of cool. I leap at you from nowhere, so my attack shall come. You heedlessly run ahead, unaware of the challenges that crouch beneath your feet. But I, Monty Who Waits, protector of the 66th gate, shall slow you down. Alright, we're almost, well actually no, we're, we're two-thirds done with the, with the Samur Kingdom. And, we have yet to use a healing item. We're at 41 HP and we have, we have a pretty good inventory. In case I haven't shown it already, that's that's what it looks like. And we're probably... Yeah, we're not going to get another level up for the rest of the game. I mean, we're really not. Uh, we need 12,000 experience, and we're getting one jump per room. Maybe two? Well, mainly one jump. Because if we were able to connect a jump, it's it's death. I am Mustard of Doom. Soon you shall know I have the guarding... Oh, wait. Sh soon you will know I have the guarding of the 66th gate... Your face is nonsense. It is like a sad doodle drawn by a person who's ugly. <laughs> That's amazing. And now it will have the punishment told upon it. My sword has fury. Okay, let's read that again. Your face is nonsense. It is like a sad doodle drawn by a person who is ugly. Ah, that is amazing. Okay, let's, let's jump on him. So his face can be a doodle drawn by someone who's ugly. I need to use, I need to use that insult online, whether it be League or real life with friends or Overwatch. I need to use that some sometime. I mean, I'll use it in a joking way. It's it is kind of nice sometimes to uh, make acquaintanceships or just explain exchanged pleasantries online, and that is one that I could uh, could. Uh, dole out. Alright, round 68, fight. He's a jumper. He jumps a lot, and I've smeared his honor upon the ground. Okay, got it. Man, some of these some of these guys just have such awkward text. I mean, he said that we are ants upon the log of his existence. Like, what does that even mean? What does that mean? Uh, some of these people are just awkward. I feel like the designers, they definitely meant that, meant for that to be a awkward, uh, but <laughs> sometimes it gets really awkward.
like this. He's Wrath of Wacka, and he'll avenge Wacka. It just, it doesn't seem like this would be a Nintendo thing to make. It just, it feels like, you know, it, it would be something made by an in indie gamer, where they have the freedom to explore whatever vein of humor they choose, or almost any vein. Any vein of appropriate humor. You whacked me! The great injustice! You will get no bump from me, fiend! Alright, let's... Oh, I don't want a bump from you. Also, let's switch over to Carrie. Alright, through the next door. Oh man, it feels nice to get back on Carrie. We just move so slowly without her. I demand your pardon now. I am the warrior known as Micro Boomba, guard of the 70th gate. My speech is small, but my wrath is monstrous. Do not snicker. My sword does not speak so softly. No. It screams. <sighs> okay. I believe you. I tried to shoot. Whoa. Okay. That. I threw out fire, just seeing if maybe it would work, and no sooner had I canceled it than he ran into it. Big pain. Sorry, 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 it is I who beg your pardon. Yeah, you beg my pardon, you lowly scum of garbage. You, you doodle, f drawn by a man who is ugly, you, bless your heart, it's an interloper, first I will club you, then I will crush you, no matter what weapon I wield, whether it be, or be a bludgeon or blade, I will club you, I am the guard of the 71st gate, I am steel clubba, now face me, I will, and I will face you by running away, whoa, he can shoot Kamehameha's, he, I have not, have we faced that before? I don't think we faced Kamehameha's before. That was that was cool. That was a new uh, that was a new attack. Unless we faced it before, and I just was not paying attention, which I can tend to do when I am commentating. That is what you call commentator's curse. Oh, there's another curse as well, which I have yet to name it. But it's a very annoying thing whenever you try to show anyone anything. Usually a YouTube video or something, it, it will not buffer or something will go wrong. It always happens. All right, now this guy, let's jump on carry. Out, never mind, never mind. Let's run over here. No, we can't jump on the carry, come on. I'm just trying to, you know what, fine. Fine. Let's get out of his way, then switch to Barry. Look at all the lengths he's having me go through. So many lengths, and then, no, he's following me, there we go. We will switch to Bowser. And get hit, really? I I pressed the one button thinking I, I still had carry, even though I just obviously switched to Barry. Which way is up? I don't know. Honestly, I really don't know anymore because I, I flipped and I got hit a lot. And now I'm down to 26 HP, which is a little bit worrisome. Just a little bit worrisome. I just need to channel the Eye of the Tiger and the Eye of Gerudo Valley. Because that is definitely one of my motivational songs. I've, man, I've listened to that a lot. Uh, Upward Leaping Ninja! And fight! Ow. I should have known that he was going to jump and also deal damage to me. Why am I doing so badly all of a sudden? It's not that hard, pal. Just kill him. And make him become dead. Make him become- Nope! Ah. Man, th this guy is actually cleaning my clock! There we go. No, down I fall. Okay, I'll wait to use my healing item until the very last minute because I'm a fan of Dragon Ball Z and uh, waiting till the last minute to use an advantage is something that always happens. All right, through this door and we can continue on. There we go. The challenger approaches. I am Bronze Shroom, unstoppable guardian of the 74th gate. Your skill is weak. I have trained decades in Iron Goomba style. Let us fight. I'll definitely fight you, you, you Kamehameha user. How dare you use Kamehamehas? Also, we can't reflect those. You see that? They will just be destroyed. I am stomped. If only I had chosen Steel Shroom as my fighting name. I mean, you are, you are gray. You're kind of the color of steel. 
My whirling fungus thrust was no match for you. No, it wasn't. Nor were your Kamehamehas. All right. We have just one more room to go through before we are on the last quarter. Let's see what it entails. Probably one of the big guys. No, not a big guy. A flippy guy. The 75th gate is before you, and so too is its guard. I am Lakidu Storm. You have come a long way and fought many battles. For that, I commend you. But now the storm breaks above you, and there is no cover to hide beneath. Boom! Round 75. He's going to flip, and he's going to flip back, and instantly die, because trans-dimensional fire! My reign of terror. Man, you weathered my storm, and for that I gave respect. Proceed under cloudless sky. See, he thought he would win, but his judgment was clouded! Ho <laughs> ho! Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Um, let's just end this chapter. And I may see you next episode or just in the next room. But it is still the end of chapter.